we have our front view, our top view, and our side view all copied from our rough sketch onto our block right here. So the last thing we have to do with our part is to extrude it. We have to make it look like an actual boat. So I'm going to click the extrude tool and I'm going to extrude all three of these faces. So click extrude, click your face you want to extrude, make sure the whole thing is extruded, and use this third one, the intersect tool. Because remember join will bring it out, cut will cut it in, and intersect will basically cut out everything but what we want. We want to make sure our distance is correct, so what we do is we just up here, go to all, and when we hit OK, that is what our boat is going to look like from the front. So now we want to do the same with the side and the top view. So what might happen is it might work perfectly and it might give us some errors that we need to fix. So click extrude, click my side, intersect and go to all. All right, so that one worked nicely as well. So now I can see my boat from the front and I can see my boat from the side. Now we go back to our top. When I hit extrude, notice this doesn't do what we wanted it to do. It didn't follow the curves of my boat and it only did half of it. So it can't so that tells me that there's something we need to fix. So let's just try it again. Hit extrude, and I click over here, and nothing happens at all. So we need to fix that sketch. The, over here, we hover our mouse over, that is sketch three. Right click, edit sketch. So if I take my mouse and I just highlight everything, this will show me everything on this sketch. I see I have a lot of extra lines here that I don't want, so I'm going to just click on the line and press delete. Click on the line, press delete. I see these two lines here, I don't need those. Let's delete them. Let's just delete the center line, we don't need it anymore. Highlight everything again. All right, I got some extra lines down here I don't need. These dots right here, these are okay, because this actually goes with the arc. So if I were, if you were to look at a circle, that arc, that's the center point of that circle. So that's what those extra dots are. Those are fine. We, another thing, when we highlight it all, we see these little constraints, these little orange boxes on each corner. However, we don't see it on these two. So if I go to extrude it, it's not going to work because it doesn't see that as a whole shape. So we need to fix that. One thing we can do is if we right click and we hit this close loop tool, select a curve that is connected to the start end of the loop. So what's happening is these two aren't actually connected in the computer. So if I click along this line, do I want to combine these to a single point? Yes. A multiple sketch points. Do you want to combine them? Yes. Loop has been successfully closed. Yes. So now that extrusion will work. I'm going to undo that just to show you another way. So I'm going to undo. All right. So I'm going to undo that. So that's one way to fix that problem. Another is that I can see that this is not connected. So if I just delete that line, see that line is gone right now. Now I can just take my line tool and just reconnect it. Finish sketch. So now when I extrude, that should work. So again, extrude, click on it, click intersect, distance, all. Hit OK. So that is my boat. So we can stop there if we want to, or we can add some more details to it.
So if you want, there's these other modify tools up here that you can play around with. You can also add other things to it. So let's say I wanted to add a little chair. Let's start my sketch. Click on the face I want to draw on. I'm just going to put a rectangle on here real quick. I finished sketch now. I want to make that 3D. So let's bring that up. Let's start my sketch on here again. Again, this is all not necessary. I can bring that down. So, got a little chair if you want to sit in that tiny boat. Some of the other options are you've got this fillet tool and this chamfer tool. So what a chamfer will do is if I click on an edge, it will make a nice little 45 degree cut on that edge. I can change the size of it if I wanted to, make it bigger, make it smaller. So that makes a nice 45 degree cut right there. The fillet tool is similar, but instead of a 45 degree, it'll be a nice round cut. So, so I can round over that edge if I want to. Uh, where that might come into play for your boat. Let's just go back. Maybe if I didn't like this really sharp corner right here, I could put a fillet on it. Click fillet, click that line, hit OK. So I can round that over if I wanted to. Or you can do other little modifications to it. So that's how you make the boat. So what we end up now is with our three-dimensional boat. So now we have to put that into a drawing, our technical drawing. So as always, remember to go to File and Save and save that to your H drive.